coming up on this episode of Free Lunch. Um, like, oh no, she's spreading COVID. Oh my and I'm like, God. I'm not contagious anymore. Leave me alone. Jeez, man. Listening audience, that's, um, you know, the new age word for, for grandmother. You know, back <laughs> in my day, it's just it's grandma. Um, I didn't even really have an, a reaction just because I think I was too overwhelmed with dealing with the fact of what just happened to me. And I'm just like, yeah. you got to be kidding. What's up, everybody? I got someone so sweet and special here today with us on this episode of Free Lunch with The Real Free. I have none other than the Imperial Princess herself, my youngest precious daughter, Christiana. Give it up for her. Give it up for her, y'all. Hey. Whoop, whoop. It's so exciting. Ah, <laughs> this is amazing. All right. So Christiana is here joining us today. Um, just one day, the day before I have uh, this really big surgery coming up, um, uh, where they're going to remove one of daddy's ribs. Um, but interestingly enough, the first surgery I had last week, um, when I was shortly after, like the next day after being admitted to the hospital for surgery, I get a phone call in my hospital bed that this little munchkin was in the emergency room and she had the COVO. Coronavirus. She had the COVO. Yo, that was so, I mean, I didn't even really have an, a reaction just because I think I was too overwhelmed with dealing with the <laughs> fact of what just happened to me. And I'm just like, yeah. you got to be kidding. And I went upstairs, too, and I asked her if I could see her. They were like, no. You went where? I went upstairs onto the second floor. Where I was? Yeah, I was on the really? second floor. Hold up. You weren't on that floor uh like in a hospital bed, like no, I was in like one of the waiting rooms, like or like the rooms that has like those chairs and like the TV. So they you they, the hospital staff brought you up there. Yeah, cause I but I took the COVID test downstairs in the little room that they had there. Oh, but then they brought me upstairs so that they could give me more medicine and like check my body. Gotcha, and stuff. gotcha. So then once you were up there on the second floor, then you got the that's when they got the test results. No, after that, you but took that the test when, downstairs. Yeah, but um, uh, I got the results the next morning. But um, when I went upstairs, they like she was just checking my temperature again, yeah. and then she like, uh, like took my pulse and stuff. Uh huh. She just did all the stuff that the lady did downstairs again. Yeah. So <laughs> now, you know, tell tell uh the the listening audience a little bit about yourself. So how old are you? I am eleven years old. Eleven years old. Uh, what grade are you in? Seventh. Seventh grade. Um, do you go to any, like, fancy-smancy school or something? Can you tell us what school you go to? I go to Edgewood School. Edgewood School. We're in, that's uh, here in Connecticut. Um, so where, so you were you're at the Yale Hospital, right? Yeah. Where Daddy was. And so what was going through your mind when you were just getting the test. So at this point, you don't know you have COVID, right? When you're just going, when you first go to the ER. Yeah. What, what, what made, uh, who, who brought you to the ER? Nani did. Nani did, okay. So Nani, for the listening audience, that's, um, you know, the new age word for, for grandmother. You know, <laughs> back in my day, it's just it's grandma. Um, <laughs> So grandma brings you to the ER. What makes you, what makes them bring you to the ER? Like, you know, you, you, the, the audience doesn't know about, you know, the whole story, what happened, man. You got to, you got to fill us in. So yeah. why, why do you end up going to the emergency room? Well, because I had a really bad cough and my temperature was like, oh, like a hundred and two point something. And oh, then, um, okay. Yeah, All right. And I was sneezing like a lot and stuff. So th were those like the only two symptoms, things you kind of had going on? You just yeah. had like the fever and sneezing. Mm -hmm. And coughing. Okay, and coughing. All right. Now, when you're when Nani's bringing you to the ER, at that point when you're in the ER, you know daddy's is 
is that the hospital too? Uh-huh. Right upstairs. Yeah. So like, what what's kind of going through your mind there? Like, um, while they're testing you, like you don't you don't know you have COVID. Like, so do you yeah. think like when you're brought to the emergency room that oh my god I might have COVID? Like did that was that a, a thought going through your head? Yeah. Because um, I was on the phone with uh, Mommy, and she was like, oh, I hope you don't have COVID. And I was like, um, oh, I don't my God. know. See, look at that, man. Somebody just dropped that fear thought right there in your brain. And the whole time, the emergency room visit, you're just tortured. Oh, my God. I might have COVID. Okay. So, ultimately, you find out you tested positive for COVID, and then they have to do the whole bit and mm-hmm. test the whole entire house. I had to get extra tests. I had all the hospital staff on my floor now <laughs> putting all these like bubble suit gear on to take care of me. And I'm like, I'm not the one that does it positive. <laughs> she is. <laughs> my daughter has got all these people being super, super cautious around me now. But <laughs> long story short, we all tested negative, the rest of us. And you Except kind of. For me. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> you had the. So uh, sad. I'm sorry. Bruh. It was <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but so you make it through. The hot time of the hospital. You're only there for like a day. Or were you there overnight? Like, I was there for like two, three hours. Okay. And then they sent me back so, home. So you go home and now it's like time to live life quarantined, <laughs> locked away yeah. like a vicious animal <laughs> in your room. So what was that like? Uh, very boring. And anytime someone came in, I always had to put on my K, uh, N95 mask, which is super, like, tight to my face. Yes. I had to have the breathe. N95 protection gear. Now, so what would you say, what was the, like, worst thing of being locked away in, in your room for during quarantine? <laughs> um... Not being able to see anybody. <laughs> I mean, but you did see people. Well, I mean, you over saw the phone. Yeah, I'm, but I mean, and every time. Uh, yeah, you the, guys only came in and give me medicine. Yeah, I mean, you had to get things like your medicine, and you know, uh, you know, brought food to you, <laughs> you know, while we were, you know, in mask or whatever. But so you saw people. What else was like really sucky? Um. I was by myself in the room. And you didn't I was have boring. school. You didn't go to school the whole time, right? And online school without any of the teacher talking to you was really hard. It was really hard, I bet. All right, now tell me one thing that was actually probably kind of not that bad about quarantine in the room. I got a Nintendo. <laughs> oh, you got a Nintendo. Look at a this. Switch. Look at this kid. <laughs> Who's better than you? Just hanging out, lounging, sleeping in as late as I want <laughs> on the Nintendo Switch. Um, so with uh, now, so you know, you know, you know, Daddy then comes out of the hospital, and you know, after they finish poking around on me and everything, um, the the time that you were at the ER or while you knew I was in the hospital, were you scared at all? Um, kind of. Or did you know I'm like, I'm superhuman, so <laughs> I'm invincible. You didn't worry about that at all? Or were you kind of worried? Uh, a little bit. Tiny Zay bit. was making it like super extra. He's like, oh my God, Zay? dad just passed out. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. He was really being extra laying it on thick, huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, th- for those who don't know, didn't tune into the ep- season one, uh, Zay... Uh, short for Xavier, that's um, her young brother. That's my son. Um, so you said he was exaggerating. He was making it like he was making it a big deal. Okay, at home, huge yeah. Deal. So what? What? What was? What would you say you were? You know, nervous about? You know, Daddy being in the hospital. I mean, did you think it was gonna just be a really long time? I was there. Or? Um, well, when they told me that your heart rate was dropping, who told you that? Uh, See, that was supposed to be G14 classified secret information. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be knowing that. How'd you find that out? Um, uh, Miss Isis told me. Oh, look at this. We, one, were, we were at the park, and all of a sudden she just started like running to the car. She's like, come on, come on, we gotta go. And then I asked her what happened, and she told me. Oh, my God. Oh, that's right. I forgot she actually told me that story because she had took you guys to the, the playground or something. Yeah. You guys playing around. Okay. All right. 
I didn't really play around that much because my head was hurting. <laughs> all right, all right. And this, but this was actually before. Hold on. So this was before then. That was before I got tested. Yeah. Like before I even went to. The so hospital. you probably already were starting to kind of have like. Yeah. Symptoms, you know, a headache so. or something. Yeah. Is it? You just didn't know that it was like gonna get you that sick, and that yeah. it was COVID actually. Okay. All right. That I got makes tested sense. the same day I went to the park. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Wow. So we had to do a week of quarantine, man. <laughs> Felt like Just the longest about. week ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to be kind of locked away. Or well, actually, it was more than a week, but uh, yeah. it was like 13 days or something like that. 10 days. 10 days or whatever. Okay. All my well, friends are like acting weird now at school. Well, not my friends, but like the other kids in the classroom. Oh, wow. They're like, oh no, she's spreading COVID. Oh, my and I'm like, God. I'm not contagious anymore. Leave me alone. Jeez, man. Now you're trying to act like you got the cooties, man. That's mm-hmm. not cool. So, but I remember we were talking about the first day you went back to school, though, right? Where, mm-hmm. you know, they cleared you and everything to come back. And we were saying how, like, hey, it's, you know, really no, you know, you don't need to, like, you know, talk to the other kids about about it at all if you don't want to. I don't even know how all yeah. of them found out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure I like, a kid me. goes missing for 10 days. All of a sudden, I, I'm sure a kid's smart enough to put two and two together. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> uh, something must have been wrong with Christiana. Yeah. Uh, so I get it. But nah, that that's not really the coolest thing, man, to probably have to experience that. You know, if kids are all acting all weird and everything. Yeah. Uh, but hey. Good news is you probably, um, well, I know you definitely have a stronger immune system than the rest of us. Uh, yeah. You know, you got some natural immunity, you know, so that's good news. Yeah, my friends um, aren't like that. They were cool. Okay, all right, all right. So we got some decent, uh, what grade are you in again, man? Seventh. Seventh grade. It's like so many of you kids, man, these days now, you know, it's hard to keep up with all the switching grades, man. Your big sister, she's graduating this year. How do you feel about that, man? She's about to go out into the real world. <laughs> She's about to enter the real world. Um, uh, if she, Are you nervous she, for your sister? Um, or do you think she's ready? You think she's ready for the real world? An um, adult woman? Kind of. Kind of? A little bit, mostly, yeah. Hold up, hold up. Kind of what? I, you're kind of... Worried about your sister, or you think she's kind of ready? Oh, that, she's kind of ready. No, yeah, mostly yeah. At all, do you do you feel like nervous for your sister? Um, or do you think she's like she's a solid, pretty smart kid? Like you think she'll a little. You bit. think she'll make out all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I try. I try not to be worried about her, but it's hard, man. You know, because in my mind, when I see her. You know, you might see, like, this almost 18-year-old big sister. When I see her, I still see, like, the four-year-old sitting on the potty (laughs) still, you know? That's how I see all you kids. You're going to just be my little girls. Mm. So, um, I have surgery again tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. What are your thoughts about that? It's weird. Like it's gonna feel weird under your arm because you got a whole top rib missing. Yeah, I'm sure it's it's duh, like some kind of weird. Yeah, <laughs> but how are you f- feeling about this? You feel okay? Um, yeah. You feel, you, you feel okay? Good. You know, you know, not not nervous or anything. Um, a little bit, but yeah. um, are you nervous at least about your what? arm won't hurt no more. That's the hope. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? What are you a little nervous about? Um. Uh, that it might go wrong. They might touch something they ain't not supposed to. No. They might, they might uh, like a game of like... Um, operation. Uh, operation or something, you know? Like yeah. they might touch the edges or something. Yeah, and they might just me? like eat. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Well, um, this is our bonus episode. So the Imperial Princess, Christiana here... Uh, you know, she was more in a demand that uh, because her little brother Xavier had an episode on Daddy's yeah. podcast, Free Lunch. She's like, "Hey, where's my episode?" So that was like for F- the first I know. episode up there. Like, I know, man. It was a thr- it was a throwback. It was a throwback. So I mean, you know, before we end, you know, I'll leave like the rest of the episode to you you know if anything you don't want to talk about if you have anything else before i end it or are you all set i mean is that pretty it do you, you get off 
get off your chest? Did you did you satisfy your ego <laughs> to be able to say, hey, now I have a, a bonus episode with dad? Yeah, I'm awesome now. You're good now? Yeah. And so now your your goal will simply now just be to rub it into any of the other siblings who have not had yep. an episode. And then you can now tell all your friends. Yeah. I they all your friends dad. all your friends with iPhones and Spotify and Apple Podcasts, they can now listen to you. Yeah. On their cell phone. Yeah. All over the world. Right? Yep. That's an amazing thing. I'm famous now. No, make sure you tell them your father is extremely famous. And that I'm like a billionaire or something. Okay. <laughs> and make sure you tell them to follow me everywhere. <laughs> everywhere at free lunch. F R I I L U N C H. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm not on TikTok yet. So I'm sorry. None of that. Uh, Your songs are on TikTok. <laughs> but yeah, find me on their Spotify spot. You know, find me on their Apple podcast. All you listeners out there. If any of you little kids from Edgewood School. Any of these kids that uh, know the super awesome kid here, Christiana. Yeah. That's right. Kids the real, call me Chris. The real freeze awesome daughter. Yeah, that's right. Make sure uh, you guys follow me everywhere because I'm famous and I'm, yeah. and I'm rich. He's all over the internet. Yes, that's right. I have billions of dollars. <laughs> Come on. Give me something else to like hype it up, really. Uh, um, he has a mansion. That's right. Uh, we have a, a we have several mansions. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. And but yes, be sure to follow us everywhere, folks, at Free Lunch, for more bonus episodes with uh, any of the future, <laughs> any of the other kids um, in the Elliot household that might uh, demand a bonus episode. Okay, I got four jelly. of them: three daughters, a son. Um, yeah. I'm sure we'll have another bonus episode somewhere uh, with another kid who's grown salty um, with these two. Case is going to be here. jelly. Nah, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, holla at you guys. Peace. Bye-bye.